Hi, friends. We're going to be talking about some dolls, something I got from eBay. And I'm going to smile. So I wanted to share some dolls and an outfit that I got on eBay. First time I bought something on eBay in probably around a year. Said to have. Yes, I'm trying to get my sight back up. Um, I want to talk about some things with my friends, my YouTube friends, my my dolly friends. So my mom passed and it was not very good. So I thought, well, of course, it's not very good. What I'm saying, I'm saying we didn't have a good relationship. It was a bittersweet relationship. So I have been talking to a few people and, you know, some friends about my situation. And as an adult, I think I'm adult. I'm 64 years old. So I want to discuss this. I really need to get this off my chest and connect with people if they want to talk to me. But I'm going to smile. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be overexcited. But uh, in certain aspects when we're showing some of the doll stuff. Because I've been saving this. I ordered this probably two months ago at least. And I have definitely been saving it just so I can open it on YouTube and dress a couple of dolls with what's in here. This, this outfit cost me about... $200. But it's a Barbie and Ken outfit, so I hope you'll love it. So let's start showing it, and I'm not going to talk as much about it. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what happened with my mom, okay? Um, my mom and I have not talked in a couple of years. So this is Guinevere. I've been wanting this forever. And well, we haven't been talking in a couple of years. I don't know how to say anything other than that. She was always mad at me. I mean, it's, it's been kind of a strange relationship. I think my mother had some some mental problems, seriously, and I, I do forgive her for that, and I love her. And that's, you know, that's the first thing I want to say here. I loved my mother, and, and even though we had fights, there's good things in, that I remember about her. And that's what I want to focus on is the good things about her. Here's the little hat right here. Can't wait to get this on a doll. And then I hope I don't lose something. It's kind of dark in here. There's two shoes. So a couple of socks and a couple of shoes. And that's my Barbie. So let's see who we're gonna put it on. So my dad had moved in. I'm gonna stop just for a second. My dad had moved in with me a couple of years ago. If you watch my videos pretty often, you'll know that. Well, my dad lived in California most of my life, or Arizona most of my life. My parents were divorced when I was really, really young, like four. And uh, so the years have not been good either way. I never got to see my grandparents on my dad's side and on my mom's side. Um, yeah, I got to see them. Well, they past now, some of my closer cousins. But anyway, it's just been a bad I don't want to get into too much detail on the air. But uh, it's been really my second, my mom's second marriage, and in, in my relationship, it was a problem. Okay, that's, that's all I got to say. And getting through that and living through that was really difficult. But I, I did. I made it through all that. I forgive everything. I, I wanted to move on, but my mom could never move on from anybody with anything. But um, so that causes problems. When well, my mom was good, she was so good. I mean, she gave me. Some of the best early years, of, you know, the only early years of my life. But I loved what my mom would do for me. And she gave me, always gave me a good Christmas, even when she was a single parent. So she was a pretty good cook and she cooked biscuits really well. She, she you know, she made me love outdoor things just because I guess she made me play outdoors or she would play outdoors with me. I had a very young mother. She had me at 15 years old. So I think that's why we were so close. And then she could, she would tell me, you know, you are the closest thing to me. You're my firstborn, and I love you with all my heart. She would say that, and then she would turn around and just totally just not even want to talk to you for years. And that's been hard to deal with with her death. But I am happy note, and I'll end with that, and and then I'm gonna get on with my dolls. Happy note is I'm gonna put on Julia. Yes, I've been wanting an outfit for this doll for so 
so long. This is a really cute little outfit, but I may put it on eBay for sale, so check that out. Oh, um, I am getting my mom's ashes, and I am going to bury them in a place that, even though my mom would never talk about it, did not have insurance. Let me tell you, if you don't have insurance, if you're older like me, you know, think about that for your kids. It's quite a burden in for some of them, but I'm doing a very economical uh, ceremony for my mother. I, I don't want to go into all the details of why that happened, but I didn't know I was going to end up with her ashes. I wanted a, a, a funeral, but that didn't happen. So anyway, I'm going to be putting her somewhere. She will truly, truly, if she was alive, she would say thank you. And, and that's all I'm going to say about that. And all of you that have relationships that's futile, when somebody passes, it's, it's even harder. But do the right things. Show up. Be there. Make, you've got to live for you. So do what you can live with and not have to look back and say, oh, I was sorry I did this. I was sorry I did that. Because I can't say I am for anything because I was always forgiven and went to my mother and back and back and back to a point where I had to stop for a while, you know, and that that hurt, but I knew I had to do it and I accept that. So do what will not make you feel sorry in the future because all we have is the future. The past is gone. It's, it's here. It's in our minds, but it's gone. So anyway, let's get back and I'm going to try to be a little excited over my dolls here. So Alex, I've been waiting, waiting. I want to put it on Julia. Julia would be a great candidate for this outfit. I, I don't have anything that I really want to put on Julia that I feel special. I only had one Julia outfit that was made. You know, there were several outfits that were made just for Julia. I have only one of those. They can be pricey too, hard to come by. But I, I didn't really want to put her in just, I do have that one, and I didn't want to put her in just a typical Julia outfit. So I think this is Guinevere. I can't get her hand in here. Get in there, Julia. All right. It's, when you put these dog clothes on, sometimes you got to be careful because there's strings that will get hooked on their hands. And doesn't that just drive you insane when it gets hooked on their hands like that? I can't get the string off Julia's hand. Let's see what I'm doing here. Let's try this again, Julia. Come on. Come on. What in the world? There it went. That was one hard sleeve to get on. Sometimes those little strings can really get in there. And if you've got something that's very delicate or lace, you know, I have messed up so many things. I don't want to think about should or to think about things that I have messed up. But if you have something very delicate, a tip is to put on put them on gloves. If you have gloves, you have the vintage gloves for your doll, go ahead and put those on your doll and then go very gentle with it. That's I read that somewhere. I didn't come up with that one. Anyway. So Julia has oh, these gloves. So let's get her on these gloves. Don't you love red gloves? I don't. Did you wear gloves? Now see, people don't wear gloves anymore. Maybe if you live in a really cold, cold climate, which I don't, you may wear some gloves. But, you know, gloves used to be more of a fashion statement. Even as a child, I was part of that last lingering set of gloves unless you're maybe really high class rich people and and they may wear gloves out to things you know big parties or what whatnot but i'm talking about the average human being and here's her little shoes but i think this is going to be great for julia like i'm gonna go back to where i was saying. I'm saying i wanted something special for this doll she's like she's had on this little 80s dress I guess that's eighties or nineties. If you know this, really cute. It says Barbie on it, and it's it's pink. And I, I just think it's really super duper cute. But I am more into the vintage stuff. And sometimes you got to sell stuff so you can buy stuff. So that's pretty much what I do. Get this thing to hook. It's so dark in here. I can't see. I got it dark. Um, a little bit of light just seems to bleed everything out. Well, I'll get that part done later. So there's going to be with one shoe on. Let's get her other shoe on right quick. Now let me, yeah, I'll do that. 
Well, let me pause and I'll put her hat on and I'll be right back. All right. And I've been calling this doll Julia. This is actually Christy. Christy and Julia is the same doll. They're my dolls. But Julie, Christy is the one with the short hair. Now, they do make other Christies with long hair. But the ones with the short hair and the red hair, usually Julia's hair turns red and this curly hair, Christy, she's really, I love her hair. Look at this. I was thinking about getting my hair, um, getting me another perm, and maybe going with something really fluffy and cute like Julie has. I love some of the vintage Barbie doll hairdos, especially the, the short ones, don't you? Anyway, this is Christy. It's still, no, that's where this goes. This is Christy, not Julia, but I've been, this is the one I've been wanting to put something on. I've had her at it for quite a while. I just never could find that right dress, you know? So this fairy tale dress, I think, is really, really good. It's mint condition. There's nothing wrong with it. It does have two black snaps in the back. Got this little chain right here. Oh, and this is my gloves. I think they come some kind of armbands or something like that. But but go on your arm. And, and I went to this big, long discussion about gloves. But anyway, even further back, I guess, they had to have their hands exposed. Because it's so hard. I guess that's why gloves kind of died out. It's hard to do things when you have gloves on your hands. But if you get some of those, I do have one pair that has the little fingertips. I got those with my mom. And uh, I like those. So anyway, here's Julia. Now, I had a different doll that I wanted to use for the uh, hand set. But I couldn't find him, and I just had them. I put a video with him today on, U on YouTube on short. Uh, and I think I put it on TikTok also. So if you want to check that out, same video, I believe. And I can't find it. <laughs> Damn, I'm like, oh, my stuff so easily. So I, it's a ma, it, it's a black boy doll. His name is Brad, I believe. And he's just been kind of sitting around. We want something special for him. But here's the thing. This this outfit was made in like, oh, so I got the Ken one in this. So adorable. You're not going to believe. Ooh, I, just, I can't believe I got this. Oh, I'm curious if this. Cute little adorable King Arthur outfit will fit on a Ma doll. It looks like it's kind of wide made, like this vest right here looks pretty big. I mean, the difference in he's a little bit beefier, so to speak, a beefier guy. Let, let's just say, you know, the one that gets the sand kicked on him at the beach. Remember those ads? 20 pound week, 120 pound week, and the guy come on, kick sand on him, and, and then he goes and drinks something. <laughs> advertisement, who remembers this? There was an advertisement, and then uh, you buy this stuff and you drink it, and you get all powerful, and you come back and you kick his butt. Who remembers that commercial? It was like a little ad cart in, in, a, in magazines, crazy. But yes, this Ken is a little bit smaller. And I don't know. This is the one it was made for because this outfit, I believe, is 1965. So let's see how well this will go on. This is, oh, look how shiny these are. I don't know. I don't know if his hips are going to fit in this. I may have to use the non beefy Ken. I don't know if I can get these on him. Let me struggle for half a second here. So I could not get the beefier, as I call him, Ken into this. So I had to go with. Of a traditional, the older style Ken. Now I got him in here and I got these pants on him and, and I think it took me 20 minutes to get them on him. I don't know if it's because they're older. Did these things, uh, did you have these as a kid? Were they hard to get on? They're made out of this shiny kind of a tough material. I, don't, I forget what the, what you call this kind of stuff. Mattel did a lot of this kind of stuff and it's really super, super looked expensive in an outfit. Uh, especially when he was a kid back in the 60s and 70s. Um, these things look so expensive outfits. And some of their most expensive outfits do have some little glamour and glam to them. Speaking of which, I got an outfit called Glimmer Glamour. Can't wait to show it to you. Look it up. Glimmer Glamour. Anyway, I found it at a state sale for, for an unbelievable price. So after I got these on, lo and behold, the kid didn't have <laughs> Didn't even notice. I got in here. I'm like, you don't have an arm. So, um, 
you know what I, and I thought I'm like man should I just I don't want to put my video off I'm like let me get this done so I'm gonna go with it like this back in those days people lost arms and legs and their lives you know, people didn't live very long lives I mean it's really kind of amazing that you made it this far right you ever think about that how did I how did I all these people that died, that they, but they were survivors through all these centuries or millions of years or whatever. And you're to them. If you're alive right now, yeah. And he, here's this little coat. There's this button in the back or the front? I think the back. So it's got, I only have one arm here because he's got a little shield. And see, this is made out of the same thing. You'll see what I mean. Let me get it on. When I talk about look expensive or look high class, Mattel set the bar when it came to well for this size doll i guess madame alexander did some fabulous designs but making them on the scale you know the scale of how talks how small you have to make things that really makes a difference and mattel really set the bar and uh did boy clothes i, I don't know if madame alexander did i just know some of her dresses and and they're they're super duper cute. Some of the really old ones from the fifties. So Madame Alexander did dolls before Barbie, and she did you know the fashion dolls. You probably already knew that, right? But if you didn't, I know some people on here that's really knows their old Madame Alexander dolls, and I have a couple of them. But they're an amazing doll. So this is gonna be on him, and I'm gonna try to button it up. In the back, but it don't button up, it snaps. I hope I did this correctly. I didn't even look at the directions. I may have it all wrong. I don't know. Does the red part go on over top of this? I think it does. So, yeah, I think this is how it goes because it has this little emblem right there. I guess that's his crest or, or what is that? Somebody let me know. But it has something to do with like, Old monarchies or Europe kingdoms, who knows? Maybe the military brand he's supposed to be in, or Mattel just made up something a little cute thing and put on there. That's all I know. But he also has now, this kin right here is one of the flock hair kins. He, like I said, he was missing the arm, and I did not see that unless his arm fell off when I was on my way in here. Um, I'm, I don't know, but he will probably keep this outfit on because I don't know what other doll. To put it on now because I'm kind of upset. So he has to put this thing on his head right here. So he's going to be really covered up. So it didn't matter what his hair looked like too much. That's how I do some of my dolls. So I can display outfits. I have my dolls that I collect because I want a super duper nice doll. And then I have my dolls that I collect because I can cover up areas on them. And, and really show off more super duper nice fits. Because I can't always... You know, change up dolls. Do you feel like that? You just don't want to be changing the dolls all the time, taking this outfit off and putting that one on. And sometimes that can happen. Well, his face is kind of tight in there. <laughs> this is this is so funny. So this is King Arthur. I think Arthur was was a fairy tale king. Um, was he? Whatever and King Arthur were they real or they're not even sure if they were real? But I think it might have been fantasy. Heck, I should have checked up on my history. But anyway, here's his helmet. Does is this open? And this is supposed to just go ooh down on his head. So this oh, that's kind of tight. I better take a moment on this one. So here is Ken. I could not get the helmet on with this little thing, so I'll just put that aside, and that's okay with me. Because, so you can't see his face anyway, and well, Ken's don't really matter. Did I really say that? Ken's did, don't really matter. <laughs> well, we saw that in the Barbie movie, right? Ken's second place to Barbie, of course. And in this case, uh, Christy. But, um, so yeah, I'm gonna, it didn't fit on a special Ken. I didn't need a special Ken for this outfit because. This outfit and the shoes are not good at staying on. I'll fix it later. Because uh, you don't see Ken anyway. And I, I, I will still have parts to him. Where am I doing? I can't keep up with anything here tonight. He has a sword, a Wawi, and a shield. Where did my shield go? Here it is. 
And here is his shield with that same crest on it. Which way does it go? This way or this way? Well, I'll fix that on them and I'll put a picture up and check them out on Instagram and check them out on my uh, talk. So, catch you later. Over and out and uh, keep loving those Barbies and let's keep loving each other as human beings in this world today. Speaking of which, I don't like to get political, but it is getting close to election time. So in 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 the United States, so please vote, vote with your heart and your brain, not one or the other. Use both. Whatever you think's right is what you should vote for. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.